which is so important. We thank and praise God for the wonderful services we had in Greensboro, North Carolina, the end of the year services and the conventions. Conventions. We thank and praise God for those beautiful services. We thank and praise God for the faithfulness of the man of God yeah. and for how God really used him and blessed him to bring forth the word and the work that God have allowed him to be able to do in behalf of the name of Jesus Christ. A lot of people say that they're working in Jesus' name, but many of the works that they're doing, many are doing works incorrectly. And they're not doing them according to scripture. But I'm thankful that we have a man of God that God has given a vision and the vision that God gave him is continuing to come to pass time after time. We thank and praise God that you would continue to keep Pastor in prayer. That God will continue to strengthen him and bless him and help him. Where he stands in need at. Remember those that have just recently been baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ that God would strengthen and help them and bless them to continue with God. It's wonderful to repent and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. But after that, the Lord wants you to continue with, <laughs> the Lord wants you to continue with him. And that's the thing that and, I, and we're being taught gospel enough to be able to continue with God. It's not an easy thing continuing with the Lord. It's easy to come out to the house of God to hear the word of God. But after you hear it and you understand what you hear, then with the help of God, you've got to be able to perform what you hear, to apply to your life what you've learned according to scripture. And that's where the difficulty come in at. Because now you're gonna have people that don't understand what you're doing. And many of those people that don't understand say they're Christian. Or go to some type of church or in some type of religion. But they don't understand the teaching that Jesus gave out, and Jesus gave out many hard teachings. Like when the pastor was talking about how Jesus said, I am come to set a man at variance against his father, the daughter against the mother, daughter-in-law against the mother-in-law. Now we're talking about families being offended because they don't understand what you're doing. We're talking about mothers and fathers being offended at the children, whom God may have opened up the eyes of the children, but didn't open the eyes of the parents. So now there's a fight right in the house, right with people you see every day, people right under your roof. Jesus said, a man's foes shall be they of his own household. Now you gotta wanna serve God. You're going to want to do that. You're going to want to keep that up. Because now you're talking about in the house where you live at, whether it be a husband, a wife, a child, a, 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 a brother, a sister, whatever relative that may be under that roof where you're at that don't believe. And those individuals may say, well, I'm, I'm a Christian too. I'm a Christian too. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? I pray. I, I go to church. I go to church. I attend Third Baptist every Sunday faithfully. In fact, I'm on the usher board. I'm one of the trustees. I'm one of the deacons. I'm one of the bishops. What? I'm the pastor of the church. What you talking about? That's right. 
So Jesus' teachings, they're not easy. So that's why it's very important to come out to the house of God, that you can hear the teachings. And those teachings will reinforce your belief. They'll give you something to stand on. You see, Satan don't care if you just started out with God. He's out to shake that foundation. So now you're going to need some strong teaching to fortify your foundation so that you don't so easily fall and give in and give over and quit and say, oh, this is too hard. This is too rough. What my mother going to say? What my father going to say? What my twin brother going to say? Or my twin sister? You need some teaching to fortify, strengthen that foundation that God put you on. God is the rock. Nothing wrong with the foundation. The foundation is solid, firm, stable. Foundation is not moving, not going anywhere. The foundation don't bend. Well, here's the apostle. All right, brothers and sisters, we're sorry we're late. We was upstairs dealing with another possession problem. What? We was in the office fighting and battling the devil while the devil was cussing me out. The devil was growling and cussing me out. My Lord. Told me to my face, Gino, you ain't got no power. Come on. Gino, I'm going to kill Lord. you. My Lord. Devil said, I hate God. My Lord. But we still was fighting. Satan. That's why I was late coming down. Hallelujah. Glory. Satan declared war on God's people. And we in turn declared a war on him. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So, as we were praying, the Bible said, Paul said to the Spirit, in the 19th chapter of Acts, the Spirit declared, Paul, I know. That was the first time I heard the spirit of the devil say that about me. What? Before I came down there, he said, I know you. That's right. That's right. He said, I'm going to try to kill you. He said, I'm going to... I'm going to tear up your church. I said, the church is not mine. You don't have the power to tear it up. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So we were, we were going back and forth up there. We were going back and forth. And so he said, I'm not coming out. He said, F you, Gino. He said, F you, F God, I hate you. I hate God and I'm going to kill you. I said, no, you don't have what it takes to kill God or me. Hallelujah. 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 So we was upstairs battling. Hallelujah. We're in the trenches, you know. And we're at war. Hallelujah. But this is a war that has started ever since Satan got put out of heaven. Let us understand, as I said moreover, we have been warning the church for years. 
about a day like today. Many of us have been naive. We have had our priorities all messed up. You have looked at yourself more than you looked at God. And as a result of such, spiritually, many are not equipped to do battle with Satan. Go ahead, bro. And if you're not equipped to do battle with Satan, then that means you are subject to be taken over by Satan. So I was being cussed out up there. <laughs> I know that's something. But it's good to know that God is able. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory yeah. to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank God. God Almighty. The devil said to me, I'm not coming out. What you going to do then? I said, if you don't come out now, I'll come back and fight you later. Lord. I said, if you got so much power, come out of him. Take me over if you're able. He said, what? You mother? I said, come out of him and take me over if you got so much power. Come take me on. I thought about the scripture where God told the devil, have thou not considered my servant Job? Want to take somebody over? Consider me. Jump on me. Won't be able to. Hallelujah. Couldn't take me over because God got me hedged in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why I can offer such a challenge. We can offer that challenge to the powers of hell. Hallelujah. 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 He got me heads in, William. Hallelujah. We can challenge the Wonderful. gates of hell. Wonderful. Wonderful. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. So we are battling. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We are battling and fighting. Hallelujah. And people wonder why I don't have time for trivial foolishness here, trivial, trivial foolishness there. Hallelujah. We're fighting spirits. Yes. And this is a real fight. This is a life and death fight. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The devil kept saying, F you, I hate you. I hate you, Gino. He said, I know you. I said, I know you too. My Lord. My Lord. Devil said, Jesus, I know. That's right. Paul, oh. I know. I know. Lord to God, who is you? Amen. Devil said, I know you, Gino. My Lord. Glad you do know me. I fight you to the last breath that's in my body. Amen. We got something to fight with here. And this ain't no game. This is your soul. You either will win it or lose it. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Man. Devil hate the truth of God. Hallelujah. But as long as the Holy Ghost exists, the devil will never hear the devil was yelling, I tear this church apart. I said, Oh no, you won't. My Lord. He said, I got the power. I said, No, you don't. No, you don't. He said, Who got it then? I said, God got it. Yeah. Yeah. My Lord, my Lord. When I said God got it, the brother rocked back and forth. The devil was lost for words. Yeah. I said, God got it. Yeah. Hallelujah. He said, I'm God. I, he said, this is my world. I said, you're just borrowing it. He said, you're just borrowing it. Mercy. He said, if you can't cast me out now, what you going to do later? I said, I'll come back and fight you again. I told him I'm all up for round one, round two, round three, round four, round five. Hallelujah. 
I'm all on fire. Hallelujah. Give me the 19th chapter of Acts of the Apostles. Acts chapter 19. Greetings, everybody. <laughs> Happy New Year to you. <laughs> Amen. Lord, that God the year went out, fighting possession the year come in. Come in. Fighting possession. My Lord, my Lord. Glory to God, glory to God. My Lord. Do you hear this? Acts chapter 19, and we'll start reading in verse 11. Follow me. And God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul. And what? So that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs and aprons, and the diseases departed from them, and the evil spirits went out of them. The evil spirits? Went out of them. Oh, you got to go. That's got right. to go. Got to go. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why I tell everybody, be careful. That's right. Who you commune with. That's right. Get your mind set together. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Holy Ghost said, let this mind be in you. you. That was also in Christ Jesus. That's right. Christ Jesus had a mind to fight the powers of hell. That's right. That's true. When Lucifer was cast out, John the apostle declared woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. And of the sea. Woe. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. This? Revelation chapter 12 and verse 12. Therefore, Woe unto the dwellers of the inhabitants. That's it. Of the earth. And of the sea. And of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you. What? The devil is come down unto you. The devil. Who's here? The devil come on, is come down unto you. Unto who? Unto you. That's right. The devil. Hallelujah. He's here. He, that's right. That's right. And he's going to be here until Jesus cast him into hell. That's right. One thing the devil said, he said, if I can be God. He spoke out. He said, if I can be God. I said, even you know better. You can't. He said, I wish I could. Mm. Speak in truth and speak lie. And lie. You see, you can't be afraid of them. And if you never dealt with such a thing, you'll be scared. That's right. That's right. I have no fear for Satan. Amen. He's a warrior. So am I. He's a fighter. So am I. Hallelujah. Oh, and say, well, you're a mortal man. That's right. That's right. With God's backing. That's right. Yeah! That's right. That's right. God said to the church, to the believers, the gates of hell shall not, not prevail. Not prevail. So my faith in God causes me to come back That's right. to, the, to the crime scene. That's right. That's my right. faith makes me come back to the crime scene. That's right. Over and over and over again. Amen. Glory to God and keep fighting again. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the Whoa! Whoa. To the inhabitants of the earth. And of the sea. And of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you. What? The devil is come down unto you. Why you think religion? Satan have castrated the pulpits of churches. That's right. He have castrated religion. That's right. And use money to lynch mm. these false prophets that's dangling by the rope of prosperity. That's right. No Holy Ghost. No God. Mm. No belief in scriptures. That's right. Many of God's people have deserted him. Yeah. That's, right. That's, right. That's right. For smoother things. Smooth things. That's right. They have bargained. Oh, yeah. Satan have beaten them down with their own problems. That's true. That's true. And you are 
beat down with your own mess so much. Satan got you buried under it. You can't even raise your head and That's talk true. to God and believe the one you're talking to. That's right. That's right. Church people got to arm yourselves. That's it. Arm yourselves. Satan feeds off confusion. That's right. Satan feeds off hatred. Yeah. Satan feeds oh, yes. off frustration. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Ask yourself, are you feeding Satan's appetite? Through your own unbelief that you have towards God. Are you feeding Satan's appetite? That's right. Does Satan draw strength from your weakness? My Lord. Your thoughts and your heart and your actions help empower him as he have temporary lease in his domain. That's right. Rid yourself Go ahead. of your confusion towards each other, That's your it. hatred towards each other, your jealousy towards each other, That's your right. accusation towards each other. That's right. In order to combat Satan as a people, just like on the day of Pentecost, there was on one accord. One accord. You got to be on one accord to fight Satan. That's right. If we are praying for the liberation of a soul yeah. and the room is packed nobody can afford to be in that room to have unbelief no, no. for we're not spared I don't care how scared you are that's right that's believe right. God in the midst of your fear hallelujah hallelujah if you're scared of what you're looking at Close your eyes and talk to God at the same time. Hallelujah. 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 Satan is mad at the truth of God. Hallelujah. Because we won't sell out. We won't change our Bible stand. God is prospering the church around the world. And more importantly, the truth is being preached. That's it. All of this is not going to happen without Satan declaring war on you. That's right. That's right. So as the church, you got to stay in the trenches. That's it. Turn your plate down. That's it. Stop eating so much. Hallelujah. Come on, Come on. Hallelujah. Stop watching so much televised trash. Hallelujah. Your soul is dying. Go ahead. And Satan is right there. Yeah. He's your back catcher. Yeah. Waiting to catch it. Waiting to catch it. Are you listening? Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. Here, chapter and verse again. Revelation chapter 12 and verse 12. Woe! Hallelujah. To, to the inhabitants of the earth. Unto the inhabitants of the earth. And of the sea. And of the sea. For the devil has come down the unto you. The devil is come down unto you. Having great wrath. What? Having great wrath. That's what he kept saying to me upstairs. Yes. I hate you. Mm. I can't stand you. My Lord. I hate you. My Lord. Great wrath. This world is mine. Mm. I hate God. My Lord. I told him in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, I hate that name. I said, you're a liar. He said, you're a liar. Mm. I told the devil, me and you can have it out all day, word for word, but you ain't going to win yet. No! Preach it, oh, no! All right, listening. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm glad heaven made me a warrior. That's what he did. It ain't no Hollywood act. That's what he did. No one hired to act like Satan. No. No. 
I was on my way down here, hmm. and they knocking on my door. Open the door, right, at, right in my face, yelling, cussing. My Lord. I said, come on in here. Devil walked in with confidence, cussing me out. Lord. I was fixing my necktie. I asked him, you ready to fight? He said, I've been ready for you. Lord. Hmm. Lord, fighting spirits ain't like fighting nothing under, nothing under the sun. No. So as you can see, my job is never over. And it's exhausting. Yes, it is. Praying for God's people continuously, and some of you won't even pray for yourselves. That's right. That's true. Nobody can say, we are in this together, and yet you won't do what it takes to be in this. Together. That's why I understand the feelings of Paul. Yeah. Paul looked at the church and Paul said, All forsook him. All forsook me. No he said, Ain't nobody stand with me. No man stood with me. He said, No man stood with me. No man. He said, But God stood with me, that by me the preaching might be fully known. That's it. Who in the world want to lead people and then feel as though nobody's standing with them? That's right. We don't preach fasting and praying because it's a biblical subject. No. It's something you got to do. That's right. That's right. Satan is called the prince of the power, power of the air. Give me, I believe, second chapter of the book of Ephesians. In the book of second, in Ephesians chapter 2, and we'll start at verse 1. Follow me. And you hath he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. You. You. Have God revived. Who were dead. Who were dead. In trespasses and sins. In trespass and in sin. Wherein? Time past ye walked according to the course of this world. According to the prince of the power of the air. Why is Satan called the prince of the power of the air? Air represent the variations of how spirit travel and maneuver. That's right. Prince of the power of the air, ruler of the evil spirits that exist. That's right. A prince is a ruler. That's right. Power of the air. And where does this work at? This where, where, where does this power of the air work. The spirit. Wait a minute. The spirit. What? Read the whole verse there. Where in time past you walked according to the course of this world. And I, according to the. Wait prince. a minute. You walk according to the conduct, which is the course of this world. this world. And who did you walk according to? According to the prince. According to the prince of the power of the air. According to the moving of the spirits uh -huh. of Satan. Uh -huh. Where does these spirits work? The spirit. That now worketh in the children of disobedience. The spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Right now. That's right. Now worketh. Obedience is a spiritual defense mechanism. That's right. That's right. Against Satan. Against him. Disobedience. Make it more convenient for Satan to lodge, not only lodge in your being, but to take over That's your right. being. That's right. That's right. It's like a person seeking the Holy Ghost and wonder why they don't have it. It is because some areas of your life you're disobedient. Yeah. Because the Lord made it plain, He gave the Holy Ghost to those that obey Him. So those who disobey Him. Is still waiting. You just can't wait and tarry, which means to wait, but you got to wait obey. And, obey. and obey. Obey while you wait. That's it. And then he give the Holy Ghost to those that obey him. That obey him. 
Are you listening? Wherein time passed, ye walked according to the course of this world. Glory to God. Amen. Wherein time passed, ye walked according, he to, walked the course according of this world. to the direction of this world. According, according to, the to the prince of the power of the, of the, air. Of the air. The spirit. The spirit that now, that now worketh, right now, now worketh in the children of this world. It's working right now. That's right. Now worketh. And everybody that's disobedient. Mm. It brings up the power of the air is working in you. That's right. So therefore, he crushed your defense. Yeah. The moment you fast and pray and fast and pray, that's your shell. Like in the hood, you get in your shell. That's right. When you fast and pray and obey, that's your shell. The moment you disobedient, that's a crack in your shell. That's right. Let me describe what God designed yes. for our protection. Are you listening to me this afternoon? Oh, yeah. In the book of Ephesians chapter 6, and we'll start at verse 10. Ephesians chapter 6, begin at the 10th verse. Finally. I want to itemize to you what God designed right. to protect all the members of your body. That's right. Not only did he design it, but he wanted to dress you up in it. But he will not force upon you what he's about to itemize. That's right. Listen closely. Ephesians chapter 6 and we're at verse 10. What is it? Finally, my brethren. Finally, the conclusion. My brethren. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Be weak in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. Be weak in him. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong. So I'm say that I'm weak. The Bible said, let the weak say I'm strong. Oh, That's, yeah. right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Finally, my brethren. When everything is over. Be strong in the Lord. And what? And in the power of his might. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of what? Of his might. Not yours. That's right. Not by your might. No. No, no. But by his spirit, saith the Lord. That's right. Not by your power, not by your might, but by God's spirit. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. Last week, we were dealing with the devil and the sister possessed eyes bulged and growling. My Lord. Growling and Snapping the teeth at me like a dog trying to bite me. That's Today, devil talk, calling out, talking out, cussing, yeah. calling me by name. That's something. Telling me, I know you. That's something. Hmm. That let me know that the gospel was hurting this kingdom pretty good. That's right. Yes. That's right. Glory to God. Finally, my brethren. Finally. Be strong in the Lord. My brother. Finally, church. Finally. Be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. What we got to do? Put on the whole armor of God. Now, it ain't no need for armor if there's no war. That's right. The purpose of armor, right. it is because there's war. Thank you. Nice. That's right. You going into battle without volunteering. That's right. Come on, come on. In other words, the moment you made up in your mind you're going to serve God, yeah. you've been drafted. That's right. When you're a backslider, use a draft dodger. That's right. That's true. Amen. Are you listening? Oh, yeah. Amen. Listen at this. Put on the whole armor of God. Get dressed up. That's right. Because every part of self must be protected from your head to your feet. That's right. Amen. Because all the elements of self are vulnerable 
Not only to be attacked by Satan, but to be taken over by Satan. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? What did he say? Put on the whole armor of God. Get the whole thing on. That's right. For what reason? That ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. What is the purpose of getting dressed up with this armor? That ye may be able to stand. Stand against what? Against the wiles. No, against the softness. Against the wiles. The compassion. Against the wiles of the devil. It's talking about Satan's aggressiveness. Yes, yes. Devil. Against Satan's aggression. Yeah. Yes. Are you listening? Amen. You can pick up a spirit mm. from another person That's right. that transform you and shift your whole character. That's right. Now you're cussing people out. Yeah. yeah. And then you say, that's not me. Then ask yourself, who is it? And what is it? What is it? Why your spiritual defense is not strong enough? Yes. That something got in you and rearranged your whole vocabulary. That's right. That's right. You're not violent, but now you are. Yeah. Look at the thoughts of violence that you wish to afflict. And yet you never thought this way. That's true. What spirit are you of? That's right. Have you ever asked yourself such? Amen. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, man. Are you listening? Go ahead. Listen. Put on the whole armor of God. A lot of us don't have all the armor on. All of us. Some of us put certain pieces on, but we didn't strap it. <laughs> that's right. It's not secure, and that's why Satan can get right up under it yeah. and knock it off. Yeah. You just can't put it on. You got to fasten it. That's right. You, 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 your armor got to be steadfast, attached to you. That's right. Listen, don't just look at it as your physical body. Also look at it from another description, your temple. Temple. And the purpose of the armor is to protect your house. That's it. From an invader. That's Satan right. is an invader. Oh, yeah. Amen. And I find myself fighting this invader on all fronts. Mm. Amen. Throughout America. In house, out of house, in church, out of church. My Lord. All fronts. Yeah. Hallelujah. I see why Paul said all the cares of all, all the, the churches. churches was upon him. That's right. So we're taking God, we're fighting on all fronts. All fronts. While some ain't doing nothing. <laughs> That's true. But whining and complaining. That's true. Yeah. I ain't lifting a finger to fight Satan. No. That's true. Do you hear this? Put on the whole armor of God. Put it on. Amen. Why? That ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. The purpose of putting on all this armor is for what reason? That ye may be able to stand. To fall. To stand. To give up. To stand. To surrender. To stand. To stand against what? Against the, the wiles, wiles of the devil. He's a wild thing. That's right. That's right. Come on, Jay. Hold that. Fifth chapter of Mark, the Holy Ghost brought to mind. Mm, amen. I want to show you Bible that demonstrates how Satan is a wild thing. Yeah. How he can take a calm atmosphere and peaceful. Yeah. But when he get in it, he shift the whole climate. That's right. Follow me in your Bible. St. Mark chapter 5 and we'll start at verse 1. Get a chapter and verse again. St. Mark chapter 5 and we'll start at verse 1. Follow me. And they came over unto the other side of the sea into the country of the Gadarenes. Yes. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately 
When Jesus came out the ship right away, they met him out they of the tomb. met him out of the tomb. A man, a man with an unclean spirit. With an unclean spirit. Who had his dwelling among the tombs. And what? And no man can bind him, no, not Wait. Much. Look at the strength he had. He was wild. That's right. No man, no man could bind could him. Could tie him down. No, not with chains. You can't do it with chains. Because that he had been often bound with feathers. He was and often chains. bound with feathers and chains. And the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broken in pieces. Not by the natural man. No. But by the power of Satan that exists in him. That's it. That's, that's right. So Satan made him violent. Yeah. Are you listening to this lesson? Because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains. Often he often. was bound. With fetters and chains. With feathers. Chains. And the chains had been plucked asunder by him. You know the devil, you look at your everyday problems or things you face with, have you ever thought that Satan keep your mind busy on those things? Yes. Because he knows. If he can keep your mind preoccupied, his intelligence know that it is a convenient distraction. And as a convenient distraction, you're so focused on this, that, and the other thing, right. you're too blind to even think of him. That's true. And when you don't think of him, That's true. who prepares themselves for war but those that think of war? That's right. I cannot prepare myself for Satan if I'm not even thinking about him. That's right. Or if I think about him so lightly as a fleeting thought. Yeah. How can you think about your enemy Preaching. as a fleeting thought? The Bible says your adversary, yeah. the devil, devil. seeketh whom he may devour. It says your adversary, the, adversary. the devil. That's right. Walketh about as a roaring lion. As a roaring lion. Seeking. Whom he may devour. He was roaring at me upstairs. Yeah. When I start praying, Wrong. start yelling. Ah! Yeah. That's something. I said, your yelling don't scare me. That's, That's something. Right. That's something. Yelled again. Ah! I say in the name of Jesus Christ. You think that scared me? Hmm. And the devil stood up and in the brother and looked at me. He said, I'm going to kill you, Gino. Come on, Jake. Oh, I hate you. I'm going to kill you. My Lord. I said, then show me what you got. Mm. Come out of him and take me over. Mm. He said, I want you. I said, come out of him and then take me over. If you're so strong My Lord. and got so much confidence, come out of him. Yeah. Take me over! My Lord. Even the spirit said out of him, God got you hedged in. What? Spirit said out of him, God got you hedged in. Lord. I said, I know it! My Lord. That's why I tell you to come on. My Lord. We're not preaching for fun. We serve a real God. That's right. Go ahead, man. I believe what's written here. Believe it. A lot of us look at the Bible as a storybook. Right. This is all legitimate. One should to call it infallible proofs. Infallible proofs. I believe everything that's in here. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. What if God says what? Because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains. And what? And the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broken in pieces. Come on, son. Neither could any man tame him. No man can tame him. And Do you see how mm -hmm. Satan makes you an animal? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Regardless of your background, regardless of how peaceful you have been. Uh -huh. When Satan enter in, this book of scripture says, chokes the word. Choke the word. When the less of other things enter in. And the cares of this world. Which is the power of Satan. That's right. Be quick. 
Mark 4 and verse 19. The cares of this world. And the deceitfulness of riches. And the trickery of wealth. And the lust of other and things. The desire for other, all of this is designed to distract you from God. What does it do to you? Choke the word. Wait a minute. When these things come, where is it located? Choke. Huh? Where is it located? Entering in. There you go. That's it. It comes in, and what does it do when it get in there? Choke the word. And as a result, how do we become? And it becometh unfruitful. That means the very word that's in you don't do no good to you. Right. You are fertile ground. Yeah. The seed is being dropped. Yeah. That's true. But nothing is sprouting in you. No. That's right. You're in the same stage year in and year out. That's right. Because yeah. right. the word is choke. Choke. And choke. therefore, the book says you become unfruitful. That's right. Fifth chapter of the book of Mark. Go back. Back in Mark chapter 5, we're at verse 5. Come on, sir. And always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs crying and cutting himself with stones. Crying? Satan make you do harm to yourself. Yeah. That's right. That's why many of you now think of suicide. That's right. That's right. Satan wants you abuse yeah. yourself. That's right. Because the devil knows if you take your life, you're lost. lost. Yeah. You can't be saved. That's right. Because the word of God said, thou should not kill, that including killing yourself. That's yeah. right. That's right. You can't look at that commandment as someone taking the life of another. No. Right. You got to apply that commandment first to yourself. That's right. That's right. And then look at the others. Yeah. Come on. Hear me good. And always night and day, he was in the mountains. Wait, wait, wait. Always. How relentless is Satan? Always, night and day. How relentless. And always. Glory to God is Satan. Always. How often? Always. What? Night and day. Take your sleep away. Mm. Or come in your dream while you sleep, you wake up mad. That's true. That's true. Cussing out your children, cussing out your husband, cussing out your wife. That's true. Because the devil knows what to preoccupy your mind and your heart with. That's right. So you keep that in front of you, keep that in front of you, and then suppress you down. Right. That's right. Can't even think clear. No. What have you become? A nest for Satan to dwell in. My Lord. And you don't even realize you become Satan's pocketbook. Right. Your body. You're just carrying around satanic trash. My Lord. Until you ain't even fit to pray for yourself. And not fit to pray for no one else. That's right. Are you listening to me? And always. How often? Always. How often? Always. Night and day. Amen. Night and day. He was in the mountains and in the tombs. In the mountains. In the tomb. Crying and cutting Crying. himself with stones. That lets you know he has self-awareness. Yeah. Right. Even though the devil took him over, he knew what was going on. That's right. He was crying. Crying. He didn't want to hurt himself. That's right. He was crying. Crying and cutting himself with stones. I would ask the brother, you believe God? He said, I believe, pa Pastor Jim, I believe God with all my heart. And then the devil swish up and talk out of him. No, you don't. Mm. What? I was talking to him and the spirit was in him. My Lord. He said, I'm going to take, take him over. I said, brother, do you hear that? He said, I hear him. I hear him. I hear him. I hear him. I said, keep fighting. Keep resisting. Mm. He said, I'm going to fight. I'm going to resist. And then the devil come back again. You can't fight. And you can't resist. My Lord. Hallelujah. You worrying about somebody won't speak to you. Somebody won't shake your hand. Somebody look at you wrong. Trivial your kindergarten grade school garbage. Go ahead. And you wonder why you can't be a spiritual help to nobody, not even yourself. Amen. Are you listening to what I'm talking? Amen. 
Word of God says, as Christ hath suffered in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. You got to have a mind to battle Satan. That's right. Until 16 chapter book of Mark quickly. Mark 16, 15, quick son. St. Mark chapter 16 and verse Then I go back to the fifth chapter. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and, what? and preach the gospel to every creature. What else? He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. And? But he that believeth not shall be damned. And what? And these signs shall follow them that believe. Now he's talking about what believers going to do. Right. Read on. In my name shall they cast out devils. Hold it! If you can't find me, that doesn't matter. Right. If you are a believer, you believers should be able to band together and make the devil run. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Casting out devils is not just for no apostle. Hallelujah. The Bible speaks plain. He says, he says follow just them. follow them. But believe. What he said. In my name. In my name. Shall they cast out devils. Brothers and sisters can hold hands. And call on heaven. Hallelujah. But you gotta believe. believe. If there's an unbeliever, there's a weak link Amen. in that chain. Amen. If one person, if just one person, don't believe, get out. Amen. Get out. These signs shall God spoke plain. These signs shall follow them that believe. I gotta call Pastor Jenner. Where Pastor Jenner? You ain't got to call me. All you got to do is be a believer. Believe. In my name. In my name. Shall they cast out devils? Hallelujah. Notice it ain't saying lay hands on them. No, no. No, it didn't. It just said believe. In my name. In my name. That means you got to call my name. Hallelujah. Call. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, brother. Did they say lay hands? No, and these signs shall follow them that believe. You can be men or women. In my name. But you got to be believers. Right. If there's one person in that group that don't believe, the devil ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Because that's a weak link in your chain. That's right. If you got any hesitation, right. don't go. That's right. You don't go to see what's going on. That's right. May come out and get on you. Yeah. You brothers and you sisters need to buckle down. Get rid of your cheap foolishness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, Jack. Come on. We're in the last days. That's right. Some of us are not making no spiritual progress at all. Holy Ghost says what? And these signs shall follow them that believe. What is it? In my name shall they cast out devils. He didn't say you got to lay hands on the door. Yeah. In if my he said name. in my name, he just wants you to call it. Right. And believe it. That's it. Hallelujah. And everybody on one accord with it. That's right. Wonderful. Not just calling on the Lord out of reaction. Right. No. You have to believe while you're called. That's it. Then you got to keep that belief steady. That's right. Steady. 
That's it. Regardless of how violent Satan become, regardless of how much noise Satan make, yeah. your faith got to be steady Amen. and focused. Where his activity is not a successful distraction. Right. Are you listening? Amen. Go back to the fifth chapter of the book of Mark. Back in Mark chapter 5, we're at verse 5. Follow me. And always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. Yes. Hallelujah. But Thank when God. he saw Jesus afar off, Glory to God. he ran and worshipped him. When he saw Jesus afar off, Amen. the man in whom the spirits was in, Right. Ran and worshipped him. And worshipped him. Wonderful. And cried with a loud cried voice. Cried with a loud voice. And said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus? Look at Satan talking out of the man. Talking out. What do I got to do with you, Jesus? Thou son of the most son high of God. The most high God. I adjure thee by God. I adjure you by God. That thou torment me not. Don't you bother me. For he said unto him, What did Jesus say to him? Come out of the man. Come out of the man. Thou unclean spirit. Somebody say, Well, why didn't Jesus use his own name? He didn't have to. Right. Because the name was talking. <laughs> That's right. God, he ain't got to use his own name. All he got to do is speak the word. That's it. We got to refer to the name because we are lesser than the name. That's right. What did he say? For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. Come out the man, you unclean spirit. That's right. And he asked him, What is thy name? Notice the conversation. Yeah. Come on. Notice the dialogue. That's right. And notice when he said, Come out. Come out. He ain't come out right away. No, he didn't. He was right there. That's right. Oh, so I thought he came out right away. No, sending the spirit of disobedience. Oh, nice. Say in the spirit of rebellion. Jesus said, come out. No, I'm not ready to come out. I want to talk to you. <laughs> That's right. Do you see it? For he said unto him, come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. You would think the spirit would have obeyed and took off. Yeah. I want to talk to you a little bit before I go anywhere. Mm. Right then, by him not leaving, he was disobedient. disobedient. Yeah. Acting in the characteristics of what he is. Yes. That's right. Spirit of open rebellion. That's right. Do you see the spirit? You see how the Bible got it so clear? Oh, yeah. For he said People just him. read over things. Right. right. I want to detail and itemize to it. Amen. What is it? For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. Come out of the man. Hallelujah. Come on. Thine unclean spirit. And he asked him, What is thy name? What is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion. My name. It's legion. In other words, he gave not only a name, but an adjective. That's right. To describe the abundance mm. of spirits that was in him. That's right. Notice this. And he asked him, what is thy name? What is thy name? And he answered saying, my name is legion. And what did it mean? For we are many. He wasn't possessed with one spirit. No. He had a whole lot of them. A whole lot of them. Are you listening? Amen. Listen. And he besought him much. He besought him much. That he would not send them away out of the country. Wait a minute. He besought him. I know you got power to cast me out, but That's right. even the devil put requests in. <laughs> That's right. I know eventually I'm going to go, but That's right. I got a request. I don't want to go far. That's right. I want to stay around town. <laughs> That's right. Don't go put me out cross country somewhere. Do you hear this? And he besought him much. You know he got some nerve, don't he? Got some nerve. He got some nerve. Yeah. Besides just going, he going to besought the Lord much. Much. Knowing eventually he's leaving. That's right. But I want to stay local. Yeah, come on, James. Right. You got some come nerve. On. That's right. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. What is it? And he besought him much that he would not send them away out of the country. Yes. Now there were there nigh unto the mountains a great herd of swine. That let you know Satan was fully aware yeah. and observant of his surroundings. That's right. There were some swine feeding. Feeding. And all the devils besought him. Wait a minute. Legion. Legion. Yeah. 
All of them. All the devils besought. All of them noticed the swine saying, Send they, us. Were, they, they were feeding. Feeding. Peaceful. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Minding their business. That's right. But now look. And all the devils besought him, saying, Send us into the swine. Send us into the swine yeah. that we may enter into them. We got to have somewhere to lodge. We just don't want to roam. That, that's right. right. Then what? And forthwith, Jesus gave them leave. That lets you know Jesus got power over the devil. That's right. Jesus gave them leave. Jesus gave them permission. Yeah. Listen. And the unclean spirits went out. The and unclean spirits went out. Left. And entered into the swine. And now I want you to take note. They went from feeding. Yeah. Right. But watch what happened when the unclean spirits go into the swine. And the herd ran violently oh. down a steep place into the Notice sea. Notice the transformation? Yeah. That's right. Now the herd becomes what? And the herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea. And then what? They were about 2,000. And? And were choked in the sea. They drowned. Drowned. Yeah. Which lets you know Satan not only can change your character from peaceful to violent, he can kill you. That's right. That's right. Spirit got in them mm. and made them act out of character right. and not of themselves. That's right. What spirit are you of? What spirit have you become? That's right. That's it. Are you listening? Amen. All right, go back to the book. Of Ephesians. Back in Ephesians chapter 6. We got to finish getting dressed up. Everybody all right? Oh, yeah. Amen. Hear me good. Back in Ephesians chapter 6, now we're at verse 12. All right. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Do you hear it? Amen. That's why I won't waste my time and keep going back with nobody flesh and blood. I don't care who you are. That's right. I got a Bible reason why. That's my right. My fight is bigger. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I'm trying to educate you. My fight is bigger than yours. Amen. And I'm trying to show you, you better arm yourself because you're going to get in this fight. Oh, yeah. Whether you want, the moment you say, I'm going to be saved, you're in the fight. Yeah, you're in it. That's I'm not right. ready for it. That's your problem. That's right. That's right. The moment you, you join the military, they already trained, they got in mind to send you overseas somewhere. <laughs> That's right. They don't care if you're wing footed, pigeon toe, flat footed, bad knees. Okay. When you put that uniform on, they're going to get some use out of you. Oh, yeah. Even if they half train you and ship you away. If war going on, they're going to throw you, they are willing to throw you on the front line with incomplete training. That's true. That's true. The devil's not willing to wait for you to learn how to fight them. No. It's not like she's sitting around waiting for you to learn how to fight them. No way. Get what I'm telling you. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, right, right. but against principalities, against powers, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and what? Against spiritual wickedness, spiritual wickedness in high places. Nice so what we got to do to deal with it? Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God. Get all of it. Oh, yeah. that's right. That's right. Hold on. Amen. This is the Salvation Army. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. This is the Salvation Army here. That's right. I'm not talking about that stuff that come out on the corner every holiday and ring a oh. bell for you to drop the money. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is the real Salvation Army. That's right. Hallelujah. Do it, take off. That's right. Yeah. Amen. The real one. The real one. Go ahead. What is it? Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God. Get the whole thing on. That ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. The purpose of putting on the whole armor is that you may be able to do what? To withstand. Fall. Withstand. Give up. On, that ye may be able to withstand. Run off the fighting line. That ye may be able to withstand. Commit treason. That ye may be able to withstand. Be a coward. That ye may be able to withstand. Just talk a good game. That ye may be able to withstand. What? In the evil day. And this is that evil day. That's right. That's right. That's right. 
That's right. What about if I been standing and done all what I supposed to do to stand? And having done all to stand. And after I done all to stand, what should I keep doing? Stand, therefore. Keep it up. That's right. Keep it up. No matter how tired you are, how Hallelujah. exhausted, how weak you become. That's right. Stand there. You know, when I came up, I used to watch wrestling. Come on, Jay. They had all kind of matches. <laughs> That's right. Rope matches, dog collar matches, steel cage matches. And some, the objective is you got to pin the opponent's shoulders down. That's right. That's right. Then a referee count to three. That's it. And when that match draw out real long, and if the opponent, the opponent is laying on a mat, and the referee count to three, if he's too tired to kick his shoulders out, he put his foot on the rope. That's right. True. That's true. Letting him know I'm still in the fight. That's right. Hallelujah. You gotta sometimes put your foot on the rope of scripture. Yes. Don't ever tap out. No. That's right. I don't care how tired you become. Amen. That's right. Are you listening? Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God. See, a lot of us is in the Salvation Army, but we ain't putting on the armor. That's right. That's right. Sitting around here while I'm teaching you what to put on, and you're just looking at me, or either falling asleep. That's right. And then when you go out there, the smallest thing, mm -hmm. yeah. you have no defense. Right. You don't have no defense. That's That's right. Right. And Satan don't want you to have none. No. He'll beat you into grave and from grave to judgment and from judgment into hell. That's it. Get me. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. What? Stand, therefore. Keep it up. Having your loins girt about with truth. Stand therefore, and how should you be dressed? Having your loins girt about with truth. Having your loins girt. Thank you. Hallelujah. Have yourself strapped down with truth. That's it. That's it. Oh, hallelujah. You know, when you put a girdle on, it's to contain motion. When you put truth on, it's to contain instability. That's right. One scripture says, girdle up the loins of your mind. Then the apostle Paul says, don't be so soon shaken in mind. So what we got to put on? Having your loins girt about with truth. A lot of us are so devilish unstable. Unstable. Year in, year out, no soundness. Why? You're not girdled about with truth. You don't link to your own understanding so much until you think your understanding is gospel. <laughs> That's right. Your own dumb opinion, your own foolish way of thinking. Yeah. The way I see it. What, just look at yourself. Right. Anytime someone brings Bible and your own response is, I know, but that should never come out your mouth. That's right. And when you find that statement being made repetitiously year in and year out, you don't believe the Bible like you think. No. And the devil make a fool out of you and make you believe you do believe the Bible. And you don't. That's right. Because if you believe it, when the word talk, you are shut up. <laughs> That's right. That's right. When God talk, amen. you are shut your mouth yeah. and just say amen. Lord, help me to obey it. That's it. You will never come out your mouth. I know the Bible is right, but it ain't no but. Shut up. There's no but. Or die and go to hell by the powers of Satan. That's it. You better hear this warning. Amen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And start getting dressed. Yeah. That's right. This ain't no surplus store. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. We'll take God. This armor is fresh. That's fresh. That's it. That's right. Holy Ghost. Yeah. Having your loins girt about with truth. Having your loins girt, girt up with truth. Oh, we'll take God a girdle about with truth. With truth. Why else? And having on the breastplate of righteousness. Hold it. Breastplate, chest protection. What is behind that breastplate? Your heart. Your heart. Your heart. 
And when you got the scriptures Hallelujah. protecting your heart, your heart, you won't allow your emotions to work against you. Nor would you respond to things from your emotions. That's right. Your emotions that lead you into hell. Your emotions that make you blaspheme God. That's right. Your emotions that make you cuss God. Yeah. Anytime your emotions drive you into sin, well, I got the breastplate on. You ain't got it fastened. That's right. That's right. Devil, get right up under that stuff and knock it off of you. Mm. Years and years and years, some of us had the Holy Ghost. And don't have all the armor on yet. That's true. Just fooling with it, picking it up, putting it down, picking it up, putting it down, playing with the buttons, playing with the zipper. <laughs> That's right. I wonder why you so devilish weak and shallow. Yeah. Moved by the repetitiousness of nothing. That's right. You ain't even ready to fight up against Satan because you can't fight the devil within your own self. That's right. How in the world can you help to pray, to cast out a spirit in somebody else if you can't even rid yourself of what's in you? That's right. I'm going to try to blame nobody else. The devil make a personal relationship with you. Yeah. yeah. Yes, he will. That's true. Did you hear this? Having your loins girt about with truth. And what? And having on the breastplate of righteousness. Got to have chest protection. Oh, yeah. yeah. So your heart don't go the wrong direction. That's right. The wrong, hallelujah, the Come wrong on. place. Preach it. That's right. Preach it. When you got on chest protection and got it all fastened, mm. and God got the emotions of your heart so you can be around any environment. That's right. And your heart is never contaminated. Hallelujah. Go and take off. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Never. Amen. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Never contaminated. Wonderful. Why? Chest protection. That's right. Yeah. Defense. Defense. Don't you worry about doing it. Don't you worry about doing it. Don't you worry about feeling that way. Don't you worry about it. No. That's right. I'm coming. Hallelujah. You ain't got no breastplate on, then don't push your junk off on me. That's right. That's right. Glory to God, the Holy Ghost put mine on years ago. And I ain't trying to come out of it. That's right. The Holy Ghost says what? And having on the breastplate of righteousness. What is it? And your feet shod. Your feet shod. With the preparation of the gospel of peace. Now, that means your feet is shod with the preparations yes. of the gospel. Of, of what? Of peace. Preparation of the gospel of, of peace. Of peace. Targets the feet. Right. The gospel bring peace or order to your steps. That's right. Without the gospel, your traveling is in the state of confusion because you go where you have no business going. That's right. But when your feet is shod, a good man steps Ordered. is ordered. Ordered by the Lord. Hallelujah. By the Lord. By the Lord. For he directs his path. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Come on! You think you'll go here? You think you'll go there? No! That's right. Know yourself. That's right. You that weak because you are go or you lower there, that's you. Yeah. Keep your weakness to you. That's right. Glory to God. <laughs> that's right. Do you hear this? And your feet shod. Your feet shod. With the preparation of the gospel of peace. A good, the Bible speaks plain. A good man's steps is ordered, ordered by, right. by the Lord. Then it says, for he direct his path. Right. Isn't that beautiful? That's beautiful. 
How do God direct his path? Because he put the word in his heart That's that right. he may not sin against him. That's it. Nice. And his loyalty to God word is just places he ain't going. That's right. That's right. Do you worry about going here? No. Do you worry about going there? No. Do you worry about going here? No. Do you worry about going there? No. Do you worry about going here? No. Do you worry about going there? No. The Holy Book says, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. The steps of a marriage don't direct your steps. Holy Ghost direct your steps. That's right. First in Psalms 37 and verse 23. The steps of a good man. No, the steps of a married man. The steps of a good man. Who's winning having a wife make you walk right? <laughs> That's true. What kind of fool thinking is that? <laughs> By the way, he never said a wife make you walk right. No. no. Yeah. no never said putting that. too much confidence in that woman, right. and that woman putting too much confidence in that man. That's right. He is the one that authorized your steps here. The, the steps of a good man. Who is it? Are ordered by the Lord. Why? And he delighteth in his way. He delighteth in his way. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He delighteth in his way. And now in Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 6. That's, that's, that's my comfort. That's my steadfastness. That's, that's your steadfastness. That's my shield and buckler right here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 3 and at verse 6. What is it? In all thy ways acknowledge him. What? In all thy ways acknowledge him. And he shall direct thy paths. That's where I get my direction from. That's right. That's my guidance right here. That's it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you listening? Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Back in Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 15. Follow me. Yeah, and, yeah, man. and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Yes. Above all. Now, uh -huh. I want you to pay attention. Amen. Now focus on the language of scripture. That's right. In the midst of all that the scripture atomized, uh -huh. That's right. that must be worn. Right. This particular thing is superior to all the other things. That's right. And I'm going to show you why. Above all. What? Taking the shield of faith. Why? Wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Take the shield of what? Taking the shield of faith. None of your other, none of your equipment work no. without faith. Without faith. That's true. That's true. That's right. Helmet can't work. Sword can't work. Feet going to go any type of way. Any type of way. No, that's why the Bible says. Above all. What? Above all. Oh, blessed be the great God of Abraham. Hallelujah. Above all. Taking the shield of take faith. Take the shield. Of faith. Of faith to do what? Wherewith ye shall be able to quench. What we going to quench? All the fiery darts of the wicked. Hold it. Now. When you hold a shield yeah. and your opponent is on the other end, yeah. the shield is designed to take the blows. That's right. You're getting hit, but it's behind the shield. That's right. So while you hold the shield, your arm may get bruised. Yeah. But the full impact of the blows yeah. hits the shield. Right. That's right. That's right. Your faith, bless God. Hallelujah. In God, yeah. absorb the total impact. That's right. Well, somebody said, wait a minute, wait a minute, Pastor Jenny, I don't understand it. Then why am I so distraught over what I'm dealing with? Because you ain't got no shield. Right. And you ain't behind no behind. shit. That's right. And that's why you took matters in your own hands. That's right. 
And now mentally, you're beat up. Emotionally, you're beat up. Yeah. Spiritually, you're in a rut. Yeah. Physically, you can't function. That's right. Because the shield is a defense to your temple. Yeah. Remember watching Star Trek? Yes. When the Cleons was out there? Yes. What did Kirk say? Shields, put the shields up. <laughs> put the shields up. Right. When the Cleons would shoot, it would rock the ship. Yeah. Then they said, give me the pull on the shields. Scotty said, I'm doing the best <laughs> as I can. Yeah. 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 That's right. The objective of Satan repetitiously firing at you is to weaken your shield. We are you listening to me? That's right. Weaken yes. your shield. That's right. Listen closely at the language of the book. Above all, above everything you're doing, taking the shield of faith. That's why a lot of y'all so distraught in church, but that you ain't there when you get there. Yeah. That's true. Come to church, say amen, and service, and smile. And the moment you leave, you go right back in that crazy, angry attitude. <laughs> Spirit take you right over. Right over. That's true. The seed is sown, but Satan got you so emotionally messed up, he don't give the seed even the opportunity to take root. Right. And I don't care how much seed falls. If it never take root, the farmer never have a crop. Yeah. I don't care how much word is being preached. That's if true. it never take root, you will never spring up That's and right. be anything. That's, That's true. Right. That's right. You will die non-productive. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. What uh, the Holy Ghost said. Above all. Above everything. Taking the shield of faith. You got to believe God. Wherewith. And your faith in God. Mm -hmm. I know from experience, brother. When I was in falsehood, I've told you moreover, it was my faith in God that absorbed every blow the false prophets threw at me. That's right. Every blow. That's right. Sat down for two years. But my shield, hallelujah, hallelujah, absorbed the blow. Yes, it did. Said, I hope you die if you get married. I didn't even feel it. Wonderful. Right. My, my spouse, wife at the time, she said, Daddy said, don't that bother you? I said, no. She said, it don't. I said, no. No. She said, what kind of person are you? I said, you'll find out. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I was ducking behind the shield of faith. Yay. Amen. Absorbing. That's the truth. I was there, Pastor. You was there, wasn't you? I was there. I would take God the shield of faith was in front of me. I was absorbing. That's right. That's right. Daddy couldn't see what I saw. I, I told him, don't you worry, just do what I tell you. I had to bring up, get behind the shield. That's right. That's right. I had to get Williams. Come on, get, get, get behind, behind. That's right. Get behind the shield. That's right. That's right. I told him, don't you worry about nothing. Come on. That's right. That's right. Get behind the shield. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Daddy said, I can't see it. I told him, you ain't got to see it. Get behind it. Let's come on. That's right. Hallelujah. Well, they got, I got Hallelujah. It. I got, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I had enough faith for all three of us. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. 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 That's it be God. Hallelujah. Nothing and nobody. Hallelujah. Or I take God have came on the scene Hallelujah. and have shook my faith. That's right. Hallelujah. When I examined my shield, that thing got years of proof of war. <laughs> That's right. Scars and Hallelujah. dents. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't want a new one. Glory to God. I don't want a new one. Oh, no. God, I keep that old one. It's good. That's right. Hallelujah. 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 God, I never lay it down. No, never. Hallelujah. Don't leave the house. Hallelujah. Don't leave the house without it. That's right. Don't even go to the supermarket without it. <laughs> That's right. Amen. That's right. If my wife sent me to the store, Gina, we need some bacon. All right, I'm walking down the aisle <laughs> with my shield. 
Amen. Because I never know what's in there. That's right. I'm getting my thick cut bacon looking. <laughs> That's right. Hallelujah. 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 Well, thank God when I go out looking for churches to buy. Hallelujah. For the truth of God, I got hallelujah. I got my shield with me. Hallelujah. When they throw me them astronomical prices and my mind is set on that property, when that price come, hallelujah. moment come out your mouth, I put the shield up. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That price hit that shield and slide down. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Wonderful, brother. Well, the Wonderful. owner tell me, I'm not moving. Hallelujah. You know, a shield not only for you to hide behind, yeah. you also can use it as a weapon. That's right. And I had many owners of property tell me, Mr. Jennings, this is the best I can do. I'm not moving. <laughs> I readjust my shield. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Next thing you know, I think I can come down a little bit more. <laughs> he don't know what hit him. Don't know what hit him. <laughs> Faith hit him. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hey. Amen. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. What did he say? Above all, taking the shield of faith. Remember that quote. Oh, yes. Above Not all. just take faith. No. It is the major component. Faith is what keeps all your uniform fastened. That's right. None of your armor works in no form. Yeah. If you don't trust in the most high living God. That's right. Are you listening to me? Above yeah. all. I don't care how much you speak in tongue, jump no. and shout, all your bird talk from Africa, Swahili and it all. I ain't paying no mind. That's right. You can do the boogaloo all you want. That's right. That's right. <laughs> but you better believe God and miss up that boogaloo. Oh, yeah. Amen. Our faith in God is what prospered the church. That's right. And our continuation faith in God as a people yeah. will continue to prosper the church. Yeah. Amen. Do you hear this? Above all, taking the shield of faith. Above all. Amen. Take the shield of faith. Wherewith ye shall be able to quench. That she may be able to quench. All the fiery darts of the wicked. And what are some of the darts? There's a major dart. Notice it, it didn't just say darts. All the fiery darts. Fiery. Fiery. Yeah. Fiery darts. Did you notice that word? That's it. Fiery. And, and let me link scripture. Peter. Think you're not strange. Come yes. On, oh, yes. All the fiery darts of the wicked. Now, let's define fiery. That's right. First, fiery is that which is forceful. It brings pain. Pain. And fire come in different levels. That's right. Depending upon the level, if it's low, it distributes low heat. That's right. I think it was earlier last week. Uh-huh. And it was early in the morning, nice breeze outside. And mm -hmm. went outside on my patio and turned the fireplace on and sat there, had my hoodie on and I had my socks and my slippers and my right. little trench coat set next to the fire while the breeze was blowing. Mm -hmm. I said, this is all right. <laughs> I said, I wish it was a lot of days like these. <laughs> I said, but it ain't going to be, so I may as well enjoy it now. That's right. That's it. Sat there and started singing to myself. Wonderful. There's no other God but one. Wonderful. That's felt good sitting out there. The Lord blowing, start blowing the flame in the fireplace, and I had to move my chair over. Didn't want the flame to get my socks. <laughs> my wife would have came to the door, thought I was shouting. I've been shouting all right. <laughs> Fiery. Fiery. Depending upon the level of the trial determines the intensity of pain. Are you listening? That's yes. right. Depending upon the level of heat, it's like a person get burned. Uh -huh. First degree burn. Right. Second degree burn. That's right. Third degree burn. Yes. What degree is that when, it, when it's really bad? Is it, four, is it a fourth degree? <laughs> Got a lot of different answers. Third. 
Listen, when you become a crispy critter, <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's it. Whatever, whatever that degree is. Whatever that degree. <laughs> when you that degree that you are a crispy critter. Amen. You know, you know, you don't went through the meal. Oh yeah. Now, the intensity of the heat affects you. You suffer burns. Based upon less faith, great faith. That's right. true. That's right. That's true. If I don't have no faith, I'm going to be taken over. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. But if my shield is the size of a mustard seed. Oh, yes. That's enough to protect me from third degree burns. That's right. In the midst of my faith, I never said I got hurt. And I didn't get hurt. Or never got burnt. No. Because in the midst of war, you get hurt. Oh, yeah. You get wounded, you get injured. That's right. Sometimes you're in a battle so much, you may got to back out and rest. Yeah. Regroup. Oh, yeah. To give you time enough to reevaluate your enemy. That's right. Because if you see the way you're fighting is not working, I advise you step back. That's yeah. right. Don't just reevaluate your enemy, reevaluate your approach That's right. in the matter. And if what you're doing ain't working, come on back to Bible. <laughs> That's right. Come on back to Bible. That's it. It's God's mind in war versus your mind in war. Yeah. And I'm telling you, your mind and my mind is not good enough for battle. No. So this is Jesus' advice to Paul. Let this, this mind be in you that's also in Christ Jesus. Right. If you take on his mind, that's it. Stop dealing with matters from your heart, yeah. your feeling. Because I guarantee you it will make you transgress the scriptures and you're going to go from bad to worse. That's right. I hope somebody here is wise enough to take God's instructions. Yes. Or be a fool and die on the battlefield. Die on the field. Amen. Hear this. First Peter chapter 4, now we're at verse 12. Quench the fiery darts of the wicked. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the fiery now. First Peter chapter 4, and we're at verse 12. Mm -hmm. yeah. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, ah. which is to try. You know, some of you think you're going through something all by yourself. Yeah. Ain't nobody going through this like me. Where, where did you get that frail thinking That's from? Right. That's right. That's right. Somebody went through what you went through worse than you. Worse. Because according to the book, there's nothing new under, under the, the sun. sun. Under the sun. So somebody went through what you went through and more. And more. The, if the Bible says there's nothing new under the sun, what do you think that means? Yeah. All trials, all they do is just recycle themselves. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. It's just your turn. Yeah. It's just your turn to deal with what somebody else already yeah, dealt with. That's true. Are you listening to the old man? Beloved, think it not strange. Don't think it's so unusual. Why me? Why me? Woe is me. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> I was minding my, was minding business. my business. <laughs> all right, you can sit outside and drink lemonade and mind your business. And when you come in, you got all these bumps from mosquitoes. That's right. Does that mean you was out there bothering mosquitoes? <laughs> no. Does it? No. But you came in all bumpy. That's right. You that got this kernel where I ain't bothering nobody. Who said you got to bother anybody? That's right. Don't you hear the word of God says a man that is born of a woman in a few days. Few days. He didn't say a few years. No. He said a few days. He's full of trouble. Full of trouble. He didn't say you went out looking for it. He said you're full of it. <laughs> That's it. 
Know that the Bible didn't say you out looking for it. It just said a man born of a woman in a few days. A few days. You fall in trouble. Full of trouble. The moment you get here, the doctor smacking you. Pow! <laughs> right. huh? What did you do? Doctor smack you. Throw you on a cold scale. Wrap you up. That's right. Then put you in a room where your mama ain't. That's with a right. bunch of other strangers. Go <laughs> ahead, <laughs> God. Then you get what I'm telling you. Amen. Come on, son. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery listen, trial. Listen closely. Listen closely at this message. Amen. And I advise you, always remember, when we do a live webcast, it's automatically recorded on YouTube. Yeah. You need to watch these messages so you can be built up and have an inheritance among them that are sanctified. That's right. Get your Bible and follow me. Yeah. What is it? Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, think which is the trial. Think it not strange concerning the aggressive trial. Which a is fiery the fiery trial mean an aggressive trial, yeah. right. an aggressive, strong experience. Yeah. Why does it come with As you? though so. Wait, wait, why does it come? Think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you. Uh-oh. Is to try But I'm crying. Think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you. It's only going to do two things to you. Yeah. Make you or break you. That's right. You're either going to take matters in your own hands like a fool. Or you're going to deal with it like God says it. Yeah. Yeah. Think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you. By the way, as though some strange thing happened unto you. And that's the way some of us, why me? Ain't nothing strange. <laughs> nothing strange. But I didn't do nothing. <laughs> they don't say do nothing. No, as though some strange thing. I didn't thing do nothing. Happened unto Is you. Is that Rahim? Ishmael Rahim? <laughs> <laughs> he don't know what to say, Pastor. <laughs> As though some strange thing happened unto you. But what should we do? But rejoice. Ah. Mm. And again I said. But rejoice. 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 That's right. When I hide behind that shield. Yes. I know my faith in God. Hallelujah. It's going to bring me out all the time. Hallelujah. I don't know how long the battle going to be. But as long as I believe God, Hallelujah. standing behind that shield, yeah. sometimes the obstacle may push me. Yeah. Push me back. Oh, yeah. But I'm going to stay behind the shield. That's right. That's right. This is what some of you do. You got the shield. You got the shield. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. What some of you do? Yeah. That shit gets so great you throw it down. Yeah. The shield of faith. Shield of faith. Affects the function. Right. That's right. Of all armor. That's right. You can have a car, all the wheels, uh -huh. tank full of gas. Yeah. What is the power of that car? The battery. The battery. Nice. That car can be shining so wonderful. The leather in that car can be so soft yeah. until when you sit in it, you go down three miles. <laughs> <laughs> you go in and the steering wheel is right up here. <laughs> oh, Lord. But if you don't have no battery, no battery. it just look good. That's it. You got your feet sharp, the Sorry. preparation of the gospel of peace. You got your lawns girded about with truth. That's faith. But you ain't got no faith. No faith. So you just got a good looking girdle. Yeah. That's mm. right. And, That's right. and cute feet. <laughs> That's right. But them feet won't be directed by the Lord because it takes faith in him for him to order your steps. Nice. That's right. Nice. 
Don't look for your steps to be ordered by one who you don't believe in. No. Mm. Listen good. Back in Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 16. Yes. Above all, taking the shield of faith. And. Wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. All the fiery darts of the wicked. Think and. Think not strange concerning the fiery trial. Which is the trial. As though some strange thing happened to you. But rejoice. Get happy about it. Inasmuch as ye are partakers. Inasmuch as ye are partakers. Of Christ's suffering. Of Christ's suffering. When you go through something, you're a partaker of Christ's suffering. That's right. Imagine if you had to go through what Jesus went through. Get me. Back in Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 17. Finish dressing the church up. And take the helmet of salvation. Take the helmet of salvation. And the sword. Oh. The helmet of salvation. Salvation means deliverance. deliverance. Helmet, head protection. Right. I played football coming up. Right. Running back, wide receiver, punt return. Yep. And when I would return that punt, coming down, weaving and bobbing, mm -hmm. when I see someone, I don't care how much I weave and bob and okay. just could not get away from them, <laughs> I go in clinch position. Hold that ball extra yeah. tight so I don't fumble. And we go head first. And hit each other like two rounds. That's right. I remember one fella, Reggie Hinton. Reggie. Uh -huh. He passed on now. What? Yes, Reggie passed on. Wow. I was doing a punt return. Uh -huh. And Reggie was a brilliant football player. Oh, yeah. And I was quick. Williams was quick. Yeah. Reggie was quick. And Reggie was shorter than me. <laughs> That's right. But his talent on the field was phenomenal. Yeah. I was doing that punt return, and one individual came after me. I jumped over him. Another one grabbed me. I spinned him. And I was running down that way, and Reggie was running clockwise. <laughs> Come on. Come on. And then I switched another way. He timed me perfect. To this day, I don't know how he done it. <laughs> but Reggie, with them pads, his shoulder pads were stacked so high, it looked like someone had projects on their shoulders. <laughs> Reggie hit me with the hit. He didn't take one leg. He took both of my legs from me. And I remember when my eyes was open. Remember that old show, The Flying Nun? I was just in the air. <laughs> I hit that ground. <laughs> and Reggie, had, even I had to shake his hand because the hit was so perfect. perfect. Took my legs from under me, both of them. <laughs> so while you're running, some battles you may win. Some battles you may lose. As a lesson on how to win the next battle. That's right. That's right. Do you get me? That's right. Do you hear? And take the helmet of salvation. So the helmet, helmet. is for head protection. Yeah. What's under your helmet that need to be protected? The what? The mind. mind. For the Bible said that very thought of foolishness is what? Sin. So then the word of God advised us, let this mind be in you that's also in Christ Jesus. Right. Our mind have made us mean towards people. That's true. Our mind have made us too quick to judge people. Yeah. Our mind have made us label people. And yeah. this is the danger. Because if what you think is not true, you're lying on that person, even if you don't tell nobody else. That's you're right. telling it to yourself, so you're lying to yourself about someone else. Right. And the Lord said, all liars, yeah. even if you lie to yourself, yeah. have their part in the lake. In the lake. That's this type. That's right. The Holy Ghost said. And take the helmet of salvation. Take the helmet, helmet. of salvation. Take, take the helmet of deliverance. Right. Take the helmet of healing. Mm. You know, the helmet of salvation is head protection. Yeah. Yes, it is. The 
Deliver you from the mental anguish. That's right. Hear me good now. And take the helmet of salvation. What is it? And, and. And the sword of the spirit. Tell us what that is. Which is the word of God. Amen. Amen. Sword. Sword of the spirit. Not the sword of man. Sword of the spirit. That means the scriptures of God. That's right. Sword of the spirit. Which scriptures of God. All scriptures are given by the inspiration of God. That's right. Sword of the spirit. The sharpness of God. Mm. Two-edged sword. Two-edged. It's called sword because there are things that we are attached to that we need to be cut away from. Yeah. Our thoughts are attached to too much heathenism, too much foolishness, too much folly. Your mind can be a burden to you. That's true. Because you ain't got the helmet of salvation. Yeah. The helmet of salvation not only will protect you, but it will discipline your mind if you let it. If you let it. Because the Holy Ghost think of no evil. You hear how the Bible just yeah. justifies itself. Yeah. Amen. And then rob up of every excuse and then come back and ask us, you're inexcusable old man. Oh, yes. Who yeah. art thou that judges another? That's right. Get me. And take the helmet of salvation. Take the helmet of salvation. And the sword of the spirit. And the sword of the spirit, which w is? The word of God. God word. Praying always. That's the problem with a whole lot of us. Amen. Holy Ghost says what? Praying always. Between cell phones and computers and television and regular phones and that have distracted millions of God's people. That's true. That's true. God sent me to preach the word of God to bring the people minds back That's to right. the original agenda that God had for you. That's right. Wonderful. God ain't going to force you. My job as a minister is to bring you back to the original landmark. That's right. That you swayed away from it. You swayed away from it. You can blame anybody you want. But you're going to have to stand before God and give an account to God for the deeds done in your body. Your body. And you won't be able to tell God, well, he this, she that. There you God ain't hear none of that. No. This is a personal thing here. That's right. What did he say? Praying always. Praying always. With all prayer and supplication all in the spirit. And supplication how? In the spirit. Praying in the spirit and praying with the spirit. With the spirit. When I'm praying in the spirit, what I come out of my mouth is in keeping with God's word. That's right. When I'm praying with the spirit, what the spirit already spoke before I was born. I come along later, and I'm in keeping because I'm in agreement with whatever the Spirit said. That's right. Eh? That's it. I'm in the Spirit because my prayer is in the letter, what I'm saying. I'm with the Spirit, which means I'm in agreement with the letter in what I'm saying. Oh, yes. Do you get me? Yes. Amen. All right. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. Yes. And watching thereunto. With all watching. 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 What's the first thing you should be looking at? Who? Self. Look at yourself. That's right. Don't look at what another person have on, what they drive, what they wear, where they work, how much money they make, where they live, nothing. That's right. Look at your own foolish self. Amen. That way you don't waste your vision. Your eyes and your mind have caused you to be so distracted. That's true. You can't even function in God. That's true. Sinking into an everlasting hell. Yeah. Don't you know the preaching of the gospel is to deliver your soul from the pit? Right. You better give me Job quickly. Listen at what I'm saying. God speak once. Yeah. Yea, twice. I believe 33, 14 is it? Job chapter 33 and verse 14. Yeah, man. Uh, verse 14. 14. For God speaketh once. 33 verse 14. Job chapter 33 and verse 14. Listen at this. For God speaketh once. Judge yourself. Don't come to me later and say that I. That's right. That's right. Half of the stuff some of you folk want to talk to me about, you get your answers right from the preaching. Yeah. You can't take what the Bible says, what you're wasting my time for. That's right. Take what the word of God says and do that. That's it. 
Hear this. Job 33 and verse 14. Job 33, 14. For God speaketh once. Again at 33, 13. 33, 13. What is it? Why doest thou strive against him? Why do you strive? Against him. Against him. For he giveth not account of any of his matters. Yes. For God speaketh once. God. God. Speak once. Yea, twice. Twice. Yet man perceiveth it not. Hold that. Titus. After the first, you know so much Bible God has come bringing to my mind, I want to harmonize it. God speak once. Yea, twice. And man perceiveth it not. Won't do what he said. Now and, here, and, and here come the apostles preach the same thing. Now in the book of Titus chapter 3 and at verse 10. Says what? A man that is an heretic. A man that's a heretic. After the first. After the first. And second admonition. And second admonition, what should I do with him? Reject. Reject him. That's right. What else? Knowing that he that is such. He that is such. Is subverted. Is subverted. And sinneth. And you're sinning. Being condemned of himself. You are condemned of yourself. My Lord. Hallelujah. Do you hear how the Bible harmonize? Oh, Hallelujah. Yeah. Job says what? For God speaketh once, yea, twice, yet man perceiveth it not. How many times that Bible came to you right. and you still ain't done nothing? That's right. You know God is merciful to even keep you living. That's, That's right. right. That's right. God speak once, yea, twice. Yet man perceiveth it not. What is it? In a dream. In a dream. In a vision of the night. Oh. Now he come and chasing you. Yeah, yeah. In the dream and the vision of the night, what when, state are we in? When deep sleep. Oh, God says, in other words, you won't hear while you awoke. So right. God say, I get you while you sleep. That's right. You won't hear my servant while you're wide awoke. So I go after you myself. <laughs> That's right. While you got a deep sleep. And deep what? Sleep. When deep sleep falleth upon men. How? In slumberings upon the bed. What does the Lord do? Then he openeth the ears of men. God opened the ears of men to seal. And sealeth their instructions. Their instructions for what reason? That he may withdraw man from his purpose. You see? That's right. Nice Even in a dream, God is working on saving you. Yes. Because That's he right. sees you got an agenda. He sees you got a purpose. That's right. And he's working to turn you from it. Yeah. Did you hear this? That he may withdraw man from his purpose. And in what state of mind that man is in? And hide pride from man. He's trying to get you out of your pride, arrogant stubbornness. Yeah. That's right. Why? He keepeth back his soul from the pit. God, look at it. You're on your way to hell and you don't even know it. Mm. And he resorts to a dream to just to keep you out of hell. That's right. Nice. Only love can go that far. That's right. That's right. You won't hear while you awoke. So he chased you down in a dream. In a, dream. In a vision of the night when deep sleep falleth upon men. That's right. What is it? He keepeth back his soul from the pit. This is why he does this, to keep your soul from the pit and, and his life, your life from perishing by the sword. From perishing by destruction. He is chasing also with pain upon his bed. God say, uh, I will afflict you. And the multitude of his bones with I strong put, I, I, I give your bones. All this stuff don't come from the devil. No. God is saying what he will do. That's right. I give the multitude of your bones strong pain. So that his life abhorreth bread. It, 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 nothing don't taste good to you. And his soul dainty meat. Dainty meats don't taste good to you. I, 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 I'll invade and interrupt your appetite. That's yeah, right. That's right. Eh? His yeah. flesh is consumed away. I make you start losing weight. That it cannot be seen. And your bones. That were not seen. Stick out. Yea, his soul draweth near unto the grave. Getting close to the grave. And his yeah. life to the destroyer. And your life is to the destroyer. What will save him? If there be a messenger with him. Glory to God. Nice. That's right. If. Nice. Hallelujah. That's why right, God sent a preacher. Yes. That's right. Glory to God. He said, can you hear? Come on. Glory to God without a preacher. That's right. Hallelujah. Lord, we'll take God to hike any preacher except he be sent. If there be a messenger with him. Take God to send a messenger. A messenger. If there be a messenger. You know you're blessed when you got a messenger from heaven. That's true. Thank you. That's true. Thank That's you. a blessing from God. Thank you. That's right. If there be a messenger with them, how many Williams? An interpreter. 
Oh, mm. truth of God has that. Yeah, that's right. right. Hallelujah. We have an interpreter. Yes. Hallelujah. Somebody that can break down the language of Scripture. That's right. That's right. How many? One. One. Among a thousand. Among a thousand. To show unto man his uprightness. Show the world their uprightness. Then he is gracious unto him. What? Then he is gracious unto then him. Then he is gracious unto him. And saith, deliver him from going down to the pit. step in. I have found a ransom. And change your course. Hallelujah. From going to the pit. Hallelujah. Word come if Hallelujah. you are willing to hear. That's it. Deliver his soul from the pit and his life. From the destroyer. From the destroyer. His flesh shall be fresher than a child. That means he'll start bringing you back to your health. He shall return to the days of his youth. He have turned to the days of his youth. Healing will step in. He shall pray unto God. What? He shall pray unto God. Now he'll do what he or she wasn't doing. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. It is beautiful. Hallelujah. What happened? He shall pray unto God. Start praying now. And he will be favorable unto him. And now God will start favoring you. That's right. In other words, He'll start listening to you now. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Go back to the book of Ephesians so I can knock off. Back in Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 18. Yes. Praying always with all prayer and Praying supplication in the spirit. Praying always with all prayer. Amen. Supplication. In the spirit. In the spirit. And watching thereunto with Watch all there perseverance. with all perseverance. And supplication for all saints. Supplication for all saints. And for me... Paul talking about himself. And for, me, and for me, that utterance may be given unto me. That's what I'm asking. Hallelujah. You pray for me. Hallelujah. That utterance may be for me. That I may open my mouth bold. That I may open my mouth. Hallelujah. Bold. To make known the mystery make of the gospel. The, and here these false prophets say there ain't no mystery. There ain't no mystery. These idiots come along and say there ain't no mysteries in the Bible. That's right. Here the Apostle Paul made it plain. That I may open my he mouth you to boldly. Pray. He wants you to make utterance for him. That's right. That he may open his mouth boldly. To make known the that mystery I may of the make gospel. That I known the mystery. Of the gospel. So we take God Hallelujah. the gospel. For which I am an ambassador in bonds. Because I represent mystery. Uh, huh? <laughs> That's right. He said that. I am an ambassador. For which I am an ambassador Where? in bonds. Even in prison, I represent mystery. Yes. Mm. Yes. In prison, he was able to open up and Hallelujah. break down the mystery of godliness. Hallelujah. Prison didn't stop him. Hallelujah. Bonds didn't hinder him. Hallelujah. Glory to God, he still opened his mouth wide Hallelujah. and broke down the mystery. Wonderful. God gave us all something good today. Put on the whole armor of God. Get rid of how you think. How you feel. Prepare yourself against the powers of hell that's coming at you. And for some of you, it's already at your doorstep. You're just too devilish blind to see it. The spirits that we are fighting down, they're angry. Amen. My Lord. They are angry. Mm. Yeah. Hey. They was angry at what God is doing for the church, to the church, yeah. with the church. Yeah. You that don't have the Holy Ghost and just walking around casual and all that stuff. You better buckle yourself down and seek the Lord sincerely for a spirit to take you over. That's right. That's right. You that do have the Holy Ghost better buckle down and fasten and pray to fortify yourself for the powers of hell take you over. That's right. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Acts 2.38 says, Then Peter said unto them, Repent. During the Holy Convocation last week, 171 was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So far, and the number's still climbing for the year of 22. Right now, we're at 8,372. And still climbing. So that I'm repentant and was baptized. Hallelujah. You think the devil like hearing that? Mm. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Where'd they go? <laughs> devil don't like hearing that? No, no. You better repent. This afternoon. Repent. Get off the streets of America. 
Stop running around out here like you got a long time to live because you young right. folk don't. That's right. No. Men done went in private business, in prison business, for you, hoping that you would make them rich by your criminal activity. That's right. You too, young girl. You better turn your life over to your creator, your That's Lord. That's right. Before you be on a slab, just another statistic that a mother have to grieve over. Yeah. Because you out here shooting and dancing and smoking and getting high and drinking and cussing and chasing women and robbing. Yeah. And the moment you get tubes all in you in the hospital, now you want to get religious. And want your mama to hold your dirty hands and hum hymns to you. Come on. That's right. Am I right? Amen. <coughs> I'm trying to get you. Yeah. Well, you get to the hospital. Oh, yeah. Right. What did Peter say? Then Peter said unto them, <coughs> Repent. Do what? Repent. Repent. You know what repentance is? <coughs> Bible says, Godly sorrow uh -huh. worketh repentance, worketh repentance. That's right. unto, life. unto life. Read it again. Then Peter said unto them, Repent, and be baptized every one of you. You don't know what repentance is. Remember how you felt when the police threw them cuffs on you. <laughs> That's right. And threw your dirty britches in the truck. Yep. You mean I didn't repent then, so remember how you strolled down there. Yeah, come yeah. on, Jay. And then you heard that jail door close behind you. Oh, yeah. And then the fellow on the top bunk told you both beds is his. <laughs> That's right. Hold it down. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Am I right, I said? <laughs> you were sorry that you ever got in there, wasn't you? Oh, yeah. Nice day. Now, God made me your arresting officer for your good. For your good. Nice. I want to handcuff you with Bible. Nice. Oh, Don't resist arrest. That's right. Don't resist. No. Give up and give in. That's right. And give over. Look how young you are. Look how many friends you have that's dead already. Oh, yeah. That's true. That's true. All right, listen to the old man. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Look down into your heart. You ought to have remorse and great conviction. You don't hear preaching like this over social media. No, oh, no, no. These men got a tiny tip message. Tiny Tim. <laughs> you young folk don't know what that is. <laughs> it was a strange looking fellow. That's true. Right. That's true. Right. Back in the 60s and 70s. Strange. Oh, yeah. Very strange looking. Oh, yeah. Tall, linky, strange looking fellow. <laughs> Played a little ukulele. That's right. Beca <laughs> became famous from that. Crazy song he was singing. Amen. Kept on through the toilet, through the toilet. Ask the devil out of hell. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Tiny, tiny, tiny Tim was pushing. He's pushing daisies now. Pushing daisies. Huh? <laughs> Dead in a Christless grave. Yes, he is. That's the way some of you are. Don't repent for nothing. Yeah. Out there, it's like the devil. That's you. That's right. We come along with Bible and put a bass in your voice. Yeah. Jesus, Lord Jesus, yeah. Lord Jesus. Right. Put a bass in your voice. Go yeah. ahead, brother. 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. God want to make a real. <laughs> you know I love the Bible. <laughs> That's right. God want to make a real man. Hallelujah. And a real woman out of you. That's right. You ain't never been a man or a woman until you obey God. Hallelujah. Are you listening? Hallelujah. You're not a real woman because men cater to you. Yeah, that's right. Flies, they are catered to dung or dogs cater to meat. That's true. You ain't no real man that's because true. women can't resist you. Nice. What does that prove? Yeah. Come on. You think that make you a man or a woman? No. I don't care if you got so many curves until you can put a hot wheel car. And it go all around you. Like those orange Hot Wheel yeah. racing yeah. tracks. Yeah, that's right. You remember them fellas? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that Hot Wheel car take off ground at you. That's right. That's right. Then your mother find that track and whip you behind with it. That's right. That's right. Them Hot Wheel tracks came in for good belts. <laughs> Get yourself together, young man, young woman, old man, old woman. Get yourself together and stop coming out here like a fool with all these chains around your neck, dyeing your fingers and dyeing your yeah. toes and arching your eyebrows, and you a man. man. Dyeing your hair. Leave your hair the way God made you. That's right. If your hair is gray, stop putting polish in your mustache. That's right. Eyebrow pencil in your eyes. Who you trying to look good for? <laughs> you got a wife, then just look good for her. That's enough. Yeah. And you ain't, you ain't got to put on happy the clown face to do it. That's right. Young girl, come out your pants, your hot pants, and your That's jeans, right. your low riding jeans. Stop wearing clothes that look seductive. Yeah. Stop wearing clothes just to draw attention to you. Right. If that's the best thing you can do is show your cleavage and part of your behind so men can bump their horns at you, you ain't got much. That's no. right. That's right. If that's how you got a husband, you ain't going to keep him because no. somebody going to come with a hip bigger than yours, backside that sit out longer than yours. <laughs> He married you, your backside maybe was just enough for him to lean up on. <laughs> Somebody else come along, he can sit under it like a canopy. <laughs> you know, I love to make it plain. Make it plain. Hallelujah. <laughs> Many don't like my Frank talking, and you know I don't care. It's the truth anyway. The truth. If you got that woman because you gave her a few dollars, somebody else gonna come along with more money than you. Yeah. You offer her a hundred, he offer her two hundred. That's right. And somebody else give her three. <laughs> and somebody else gonna give her a grand. Yeah. With an ice cream sundae to go along with it. That's true. You better set your affections on things above and not on things of this earth. Yeah. Right. Repent. Then yeah. Peter said unto them, repent. Many get offended by my frank talking. Yeah. I don't care nothing about you getting offended. Blessed is he, Jesus said. That's not offended not in me. Offended. What I'm preaching go on every day. That's right. Oh, yeah. All this Silicon Valley and all these sponges and silicon and getting shoved all in folk hips. Yeah, come on. That's right. Old outdated newspapers from the 60s and 50s. What? Pushing it all in their hips, cotton balls all in their mouth. All it! <laughs> all it down. <laughs> all it down. Get all that cotton all in their mouth and they talking like they're the godfather. <laughs> what can I do for you? My Lord. Getting all this Botox looking like somebody's kitten. That's true. Looking like a dog <laughs> and a cat. 
They're like a grasshopper in the face. Come on, Jack. Make it plain, brother. Get all this work done, all of a sudden your cheeks way up there. Yeah. That's true. something. That's what they're doing now. All these shots in your mouth and in your face. That's true. Open the door, you don't even recognize it. <laughs> Old friend of yours. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna stop by. Hey man, I ain't seen. I ain't, man, I ain't seen her in a long time, man. I wonder if she still lived there. Ring the bell. Ding dong. Oh, <laughs> Somebody come to the door. Hey yo, can I help? You? Yeah. Uh, is there a Mary Jane that still live here? Yeah, Mary Jane. Who, who are you? Oh man, I, I went to school with her. I'm a son. Oh, oh, okay. I get her. Come on there. He got the picture. Yeah, Mary Jane, she was fine, man. All of a sudden, she come down and step. He all excited. <laughs> come on, Jane, get it out. Get it out. <laughs> he look up. Come oh, she said, him. How you doing? <laughs> Smile. Ricky, Ricky. Is that you, Ricky? <laughs> oh, my. You look the same way. What? Kiss me, Ricky. Oh, no. Oh, no. Kiss me. <laughs> oh, no. Come on. Hallelujah. What's the matter with you, Pete? You actors and actresses don't want to accept the fact you're getting older. You get old, yeah. accept it. Yeah. It is the will of your creator. That's the will of That's right. That's right. Preach it, brother. Mm. Are you listening? Amen. You old gray-haired men, getting your hair dyed, beard dyed. Yeah. Me and Shade was in the Alabama, Mobile Alabama airport. I think it was last year when I had to fly to the new temple for inspection to see yeah. where we were for dedication. Yeah. Yeah. So on our way back home, I saw a fellow that used to be in the church, but he backslid. He didn't see me. Him and his wife walked through the airport. I said, Shade, there's so-and-so. Uh -huh. He said, what? I said, I jumped out my chair and it scared him. I shook his hand. He said, oh, oh, oh. He said, bro. <laughs> he had the side of his beard died midnight black. Oh, His mustache died midnight black. This side of his chin, where the beard was, was dyed midnight black, and he just left the middle part, the original color, silver. Mm. He looked like a baboon on Zimba. Come on, <laughs> Oh, it helped the I should have said, greeting, Rafiki. <laughs> he looked just like Rafiki. <laughs> My Lord. My he Lord. looked just like Rafiki. <laughs> My, <laughs> My Lord. Lord, help the people. There's a disgrace. Lord, help the people. You claim you saved with all this two-tone folly. Two -tone. <laughs> Be the way God made you. That's it. That's it. You fake apostolics where they have no discipline, no rule of law, no order. No order. That's why they hate the truth of God. They hate it. They say it's too strict. I can't be no stricter than the Bible. No. But nobody under the sun going to move me from God's word. No, no. There ain't no man that got his head died, and I know it, is going to get up here and preach. Right. No way. Right. And I know your hair has died. You ain't getting up here and preach. Oh, no. no, no. No. No way. If I know your hair died and I see you up leading praise service, I'm going to stop you. That's right. That's right. That's right. And I know it. That's right. Be the way God made you, you old hypocrite. <laughs> <laughs> that goes for you sisters too. And God That's bless right. you with gray hair. Love it. Love it.
Amen. Amen. What did Peter say? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Prepare yourself, church. There's going to be a spiritual warfare this year like never before. And I'm warning you now, you better hear me. You better hear the old man. Yeah. Repent. And be baptized, every one of you. Baptized, every one of you, how? In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. That's how you get your sins washed away, and what did the Lord promise? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. All Christ. right. Anybody here want to get right with God and come off the streets from being a fool and come out of your false churches? Going after man-made religion leading you right to hell. Yeah. If you want to be right with God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, stand on your feet and get right with God. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. All of you that are standing, come to the front. Yeah. All of you that are standing, yeah. lead them on to the front. Hallelujah. Come out of the man-made churches. Out. Come out. Come out. Come out of them. That's it. Time for everybody now. Mm. We do this thing like God ordered. Isn't it wonderful? Wonderful. Yeah. Bible said of the increase of his government and peace. There no shall end. be no end. No end. You see how God continues? God made us a fisherman. That's right. Glory to God. I never pull my hook out the water. It never comes out way. That's right. I would say, God, my cork is always bobbing. Always bobbing. <laughs> Every right. time I see my cork going up and down. Hallelujah. And for most people, this is unheard of. Most people have been in churches for years and have never seen 10 people get baptized in 20 years. That's true. It ain't That's true. Pastor Jennings. This is the reality of the zeal of the Lord of hosts. That's right. Hallelujah. That, hallelujah. That's performing it. Performing it. Hallelujah. Let this word sink into your heart. Yeah. You go back home and play this message. Yeah. Follow it in the Bible. Yeah. And then follow the advice that God is giving you with no if, ands, or buts. That's right. None. Hallelujah. All you're doing is threatening your own life yeah. into a Christless grave. Brother Jacob, we're still praying for you there in Portland, Oregon. Right. We haven't forgot you. I pray that God keep you and preserve you and give healing to your body. To the Bush family of South Carolina, I didn't get a chance to see you during the Closing year conference, but again, the first church of the Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for the new church that you signed over to the truth of God. Wonderful. Out of Edgefield, South Carolina. Wonderful. Amen. There are so many people want the truth of God to take the churches. The preachers aren't doing nothing. That's right. Amen. Turn them to little candy stores. That's right. They're already candy stores. That's why I give you so much sweets. Yeah. yeah that's right, Amen. We're coming up with good vegetables. Oh, yes. Good Bible collards and bok choy and that's kale. Right. That's right. Turnip greens with the turnips chopped in it. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Go ahead, Go ahead. Give you some beets. That's right. Something to strengthen your blood. Yeah. Cucumbers and carrots. And candy yams. You know, I'm making myself hungry now. <laughs> We're hungry. We're God. All right, come on back at 530. But you better take this lesson. Take this lesson. Because it's of a necessity. All right, come on back at 530 where prayer will begin. And to my... Convention team and to the youth department at four o'clock. Be upstairs on the fourth floor before I get up there. At four o'clock, you be up there. All right, let us all stand, and Elder Williams will close us out in prayer. Thank you. Thank you. Father God, we do come to you once again in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to thank you and praise you once again. My God, for thine good word, Lord Jesus, we thank you for your teaching. 
We thank you, Father God, for your doctrine. We thank you for your mercy, how you've given us a chance, O God. My God, help us, O God. Bless us, not only to be hearers, but bless us to be doers of the scriptures. Remember the pastor, Lord Jesus, continue to strengthen him. Continue to stand by him and be with him, O God. Keep your word in his mouth. My God, continue to protect him. Continue to hedge him in. Oh, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember every one of us that are here today, O God. Remember those that are here, O God, over the, over the internet, O God. Help them, O God. Bless them. Open their understanding, O God, to thine right ways. Help us, O God. Bless us. Help us, O God, to strive. Hallelujah. My God, according to thine will and purpose. My God, we do pray and ask all these things. My God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.